how does a story begin in my mind? So I was asked to choose uh, one word that is in the heart of my book and actually I chose the word Lev which means in Hebrew a heart. I think uh, from many aspects it's a central theme in the book. First we have the hungry heart, uh, the desideri, uh, the, the Bruce Springsteen hungry heart which begins the book and actually also all the characters in a way are desiring for something. Maybe they will get it, maybe maybe they won't, maybe it will take years until they get it, but I think this idea of, of desiring is, is central to the book. Also, the physical body. Uh, I, I think maybe it's my most physical book. Uh, every Everybody has an issue with the body here. Sometimes they have a heart attack, sometimes they feel pain, sometimes they, they feel sexual desire. There's, it's a very physical book. I felt physical while, while writing it. I felt the book was going through my body in a way. And when my readers, the, the, the Israeli readers of the book, described the, the experience of reading the, the book, they either talk about a book that was uh, hitting them in the stomach or like hugging them or like feel, feeling comforted, comforting them like a hug. So when, when I look at the Italian cover, on the Israeli cover you can actually see a heart, like a, a, the, the, the physical uh, uh, heart. When I look at the Italian cover, it's a very uh, uh, erotic and, and physical cover. Uh, so I think it reflects this, the, the real nature of the book. It's a book about legami, about attachments between people, but the, the way to tell it is, is through the body. I think the body is the, the best show-don't-tell we have as writers. It's, uh, it's, it's a beautiful expression of our soul. And, uh, and that's what, uh, what I was trying to do in this book. We have again and again. <laughs>